So this is 16 meals and snacks for Monday to Friday that I just finished prepping in just over an hour. I'm gonna show you exactly how I did it. So you guys really loved the meal prep video that I posted a few weeks ago. So this is part two. So you got some more meal options and you can even mix and match the meals in that video with the ones we're making now. But what makes this meal prep kind of special is that it's high protein. It's ideal for losing or maintaining weight. I will show you how to customize the calories to get anywhere from 1,200 to 1,800 calories. And I've simplified this whole thing a lot to make it much easier to get it done in an hour. So we're gonna start with breakfast, which you only need one dish for to prep and bake it in. So we're cutting down on dishes a lot here. It's actually one of my favorite breakfasts at the moment, this blueberry muffin pie, it's so good. Then we're gonna prep this high protein hot chocolate, which you're soon gonna realize is like the easiest snack ever. And it's perfect for this time of year. Next, we're gonna do lunch, something I've been making a lot lately, my smashed chickpea sandwich wrap. And lastly, we're prepping dinner, sweet and sour chicken, can't go wrong with that. And we're gonna prep all of this while the blueberry muffin pie is in the oven, which just makes it easier to get it done in about an hour. And if you make all of this, you'll be getting almost 100 grams of protein per day. It's all gluten-free and dairy-free. I got some vegan options for you. And I'm gonna show you how to customize the calories. It's very customizable. And also adjust the amount of days that you prep meals for. So you can have all your meals prepped for a full work week if you want. So just gonna preheat the oven. And while it's preheating, we're gonna put together this breakfast. And then while the breakfast is baking, we are basically prepping everything else. And that's the plan for today. I'm just preheating my oven to 380 degrees Fahrenheit. That's about 195 degrees Celsius. And as I said, we're gonna make and bake our breakfast in one dish, just a regular baking pan. But I will link the one that I'm using below in case you wanna see the dimensions and stuff. For the ingredients, got two ripe bananas, mashing them up with a fork, just really roughly. I actually like to leave some pieces in it for texture. Then cracking one egg in and mixing it in with the banana. I will have a chia egg replacement on my blog for you if you wanna make this vegan. Then adding in the rest of the ingredients, two cups of rolled oats, a quarter cup of brown sugar, a quarter cup of almond butter, or peanut butter, both work, one third of a cup of almonds, and I'm just chopping them up really quickly before adding them in, half a teaspoon of cinnamon, half a teaspoon of vanilla, a little pinch of salt, about two thirds of a teaspoon of baking powder, one and a half cups of milk. I use soy milk, but absolutely any type of milk should work. And last thing, about one cup of blueberries. And I just use frozen because they usually are more affordable and it really doesn't make that big of a difference when they're cooked. Then just mixing it all together and getting it in the oven. Just wait until you see what it looks like when it comes out. Okay, breakfast in the oven. We're gonna prep the snack. Now this is a little bit different from the usual type of meal prep snack. It was very good. It's a good one. And actually, if you've got my meal prep ebook, you will recognize this from week three. You're gonna laugh when you see how simple it is. <laughs> got four little containers here, adding half a scoop of vanilla protein powder, and then also half a teaspoon of cocoa powder to each one. Then got four other jars here, bigger ones, adding about one cup of soy milk to each jar. And yeah, same with the breakfast, any kind of milk should work fine with this. I like this one because it's dairy free and it's high protein, um, but sometimes I use almond milk. Really, any type is fun. Okay, so basically we've got our protein and cocoa powder mix and we have got milk in a jar. <laughs> and you're probably like, what do these two things make? This makes a protein hot chocolate. You basically just put the two things together. I will link a short below where I make this, where I put this together so you can see exactly how I do it on the day. It's incredibly simple. But this is not the completed snack. This is very low calorie, so to add some more calories and just to make it a little bit more of a balanced snack, we are adding bananas. <laughs> okay, so we got we need four bananas. I like bananas and I always seem to have a lot of them around, so I'm picking a banana, but you can choose an apple, you can choose an orange, you can choose a clementine, anything from like 70 to 100 calories. So banana's perfect. And I think it's a good combination. It actually goes well. This is actually just a sauce container from Chipotle that uh, I like to keep them and then use them for things like this. But these, I will link 
all the other jars and containers that I'm using below for you if you want to see the sizes and everything I'm using. So just going to put this aside and we are going to prep the lunch. We are halfway already. It goes pretty quickly from now. If you watched my previous video, my what I eat in a day, you're going to be like, Lisa, why are you showing us the same thing again? We just made this, okay, but it's different. In that video, I made this into a sandwich, and in this video, we're making it into wraps. And it actually turns out quite differently. But this is one of my favorite things to eat right now, so I wanted to include it. And this is one of my favorite ways to meal prep it. Wraps keep really nicely for meal prep. So, we're gonna get started with that. To start, we are gonna drain and rinse some chickpeas. One can. Also rinsing a tomato and some baby spinach getting those chickpeas in a bowl and just roughly smashing them up with a fork. I like to keep some of them whole to change up the texture a bit, but I mash up most of them. Then to that, adding three tablespoons of tahini, a tablespoon of olive oil, a tablespoon of sweetener just to balance out the flavors, some salt and pepper, of course. Then adding the juice from about one lime and using three pickles, my secret ingredient, to get that sweet and sour tangy kind of flavor, just chopping them up really roughly. and. Now you can use like a quarter of a regular onion here if you want, but I like to use spring onion, just a few pieces. It's got more of a subtle flavor than regular onion, I think, and I just prefer it for this. And just mixing everything up. Okay, then just got some extras, extra things to add in. Slicing up that tomato. And okay, I did decide to add just a tiny little bit of onion, just as a garnish. I've got one that I'll be using for dinner, so I'm just cutting a small piece off of that one and then gonna save the rest of this for dinner. And that's everything ready. So ready to get the wraps together. I got a pan here. I'm getting that heated on the stove and got four burrito sized tortillas, just heating them one at a time in the pan. I usually do like 10 to 15 seconds aside. Then they're ready for the fillings. Adding some baby spinach in the middle, about a quarter of that chickpea mix, cause we're making four wraps here. Some of the tomato slices, a little bit of that onion, just as a garnish, just a little bit. Some salt and some pepper and wrapping it up and okay <clears throat> every single time literally every single time i make wraps i forget what i'm doing and i have to watch a tutorial so shout out to Vishwesh and Bag. their video explains it so well i watch it every single time that i make a wrap i've probably watched it like a hundred times anyway now if you want to have your wrap keep extra well you can actually put it whole into the container into your meal prep container but i'm just cutting mine in half so you can see what it looks like inside looks pretty good that is a good lunch that's a great lunch and i'm just making three more the exact same way i really love this wrap because the flavor is amazing it's just a light lunch but it still feels filling you know it's just a nasty balanced meal all the food groups all wrapped up in a tortilla so that is our lunches prepped these look so good oh my gosh can't wait to eat these so we just need to get the lids on put them in the fridge and then we're gonna prep dinner, which is our last thing. I mean, we're basically done. We're almost done. For dinner, we are making sweet and sour chicken. It's got so much flavor. So I've got some chopped up chicken here. You'll see what we're gonna do with that in a second. Or for a vegan option, you can use two packs of firm tofu. So right now I'm going to wash some rice, get it cooking on the stove. Then we're gonna prep a little bit of sauce. We're gonna chop up some vegetables, get them cooking throw the chicken or the tofu in there. And before you know it, the breakfast's gonna come out the oven and we're gonna be done. Got some washed basmati rice here, adding some hot water. And if you wanna stick to the calories exactly, you can use about two thirds of a cup of dry rice and about one and a half cups of water. Getting that cooking on the stove and getting all the ingredients out to make the sauce. This is kind of like my own version of sweet and sour sauce. I just use ingredients that I have already in my kitchen instead of using things like pineapple juice, which I don't usually have. It's really good though. Okay, so I use about a quarter cup of low sodium soy sauce, a tablespoon of brown sugar, a tablespoon of sesame oil, or you can use any kind of cooking oil. I really like the flavor though. A tablespoon of rice wine vinegar, apple cider vinegar also works. Two tablespoons of honey or maple syrup, a tablespoon of tomato sauce or ketchup, a teaspoon of onion powder, a tablespoon of lemon or lime juice, 
and a tablespoon of cornstarch and you can stir it up but what I like to do to avoid the little cornstarch lumps is I make the whole thing in a small container with an airtight lid and then I just put the lid on and shake it and it gets rid of all the lumps my mom does that she taught me that and it's done just putting that aside and chopping a few vegetables just a few things chopping up the rest of that onion that we kept aside from the lunch prep I like to cut it in strips then three bell peppers and you can use any color I think that it looks best when you use the different colors so I got orange red and green and also cutting them in strips and some spring onion of course which I've got left over from the lunch prep anyway so might as well just throw it in when I prep for the week like this I try to use the same ingredients in different ways so that I end up buying less things at the store and that nothing goes to waste and that's all the chopping done. So now for the fun part, getting a cooking. I'm heating a pan on the stove with a quick spray of oil and adding in the chopped onion. I like to cook it first to get it a bit caramelized that adds a lot of flavor. It's just a few minutes and then add the bell peppers in. They cook very quickly, try not to overcook them. Sometimes I add a small amount of water in so that it doesn't burn and yeah, those are mostly done. So just putting them aside in a bowl. You'll see why in a second. Getting that pan back on the stove, spraying a little bit more oil in and getting the chicken pieces in. It's about 700 grams of chicken breast meat or you can use two packs of firm tofu instead. I will have instructions on my blog for that for a vegan option, but it's basically the same. I just toss it around a bit and once it's cooked, I throw the peppers and the onions back in. And then to finish it all off, the final touch, getting the sauce on, tossing it around for a minute or so. Oh my gosh, it looks, it looks so good. Okay, so we're running a little bit behind with dinner, but it's okay, we're almost done. Breakfast is almost ready though. There's just over a minute left, so I need to get that out of the oven. And there's a huge storm that's broken out, so it's getting kind of dark in here, but it's okay. I've got a big light set up, so we will be fine. So just gonna get the breakfast out, finish the dinner, and then we're done. So that is looking good. It's done. I told you it was gonna look good. So just gonna let this cool down a little bit while I finish up the dinner, and then we're gonna cut this up and serve it out. Okay, so back to dinner. Getting the containers out to serve our prep in. And the rice is ready. It just takes 15 minutes or so, so serving that out between four and the main event, the sweet and sour chicken. If you try this, let me know what you think. I absolutely love it. I used to cook this a lot growing up and it makes a really nice size portion. It's quite a lot, so that's nice. And just finally adding a few little things on top, just some of that spring onion, some sesame seeds, it looks cute, and some salt and pepper. And this is definitely something that I look forward to eating when I know it's prepped and ready and waiting for me in the fridge. I mean, just look at that. That is a good looking dinner. So just getting the lids on and back to breakfast again it's the last thing to do i just cut around the edges and then into four pieces and it comes out really nicely and this is actually called baked oatmeal um but when i made it for rob for the first time he called it muffin pie and i just thought it was really cute so the name kind of stuck with me uh so i call it blueberry muffin pie but I do actually have a chocolate chip version that I showed you guys in a recent video. I'll link that video below. If you're more of a chocolate chip kind of a person, you can actually switch out that one for this one. I like both. I can't choose my favorite between them. But this blueberry one is actually Rob's favorite one. And just like that, we are done with the final thing. We are finished. We did it. We did it again. So I've decided with this video that I'm gonna show you how to heat up and eat these meals in shorts. So I'm gonna have those shorts linked below. You can see how I make the protein hot chocolate, how I put that together, how I heat up the dinner, how I heat up the breakfast, you know, all that kind of stuff. I'm also gonna have the ingredients for everything on my blog for you for four or five days of prep. So you can either prep for four days like I did or you can add an extra day if you wanna do a full work week. Those ingredients will be listed on my blog as well as a grocery shopping list to go along the with the week so you know what to buy. Um, that will be on my blog link below. And I, I thought I'd just mention again, you guys seem to like it when I mention it in my videos about my point system. I know a lot of you use my point system. So all the main meals in this meal prep plan, the breakfast, the lunch and the dinner are all roughly four points 
with my point system or roughly 400 calories and then all the snacks are roughly 200 calories or two points and if you don't know what I'm talking about my point system I will link a video about that below um, and yeah I promised that I would show you how to customize this meal prep plan so I'm gonna do that right now uh, it's very very easy it's nothing complicated super simple so I'm gonna show you how to do that and I hope that you enjoyed this video I hope that you found it helpful I hope you enjoyed the meals these are such good meals I love them so much so I really hope you enjoy them and I'll see you in my next video okay so how to customize the calories to get anywhere from 1200 to 1800 per day as i said all the meals are roughly 400 calories and all the snacks are roughly 200 calories and this is what makes it really easy to customize the whole thing so for 1200 calories you can have the breakfast the lunch and the dinner and then just leave out the snacks for 1400 calories you can have the breakfast the lunch the dinner the snack exactly how i prepped it for 1,600 calories, you're gonna do the breakfast, the lunch, the dinner, the snack, and then just add any other 200 calorie snack per day. So that's like a snack bar or a slice of toast with a tablespoon of peanut butter on top. Or alternatively to that, you can remove all the snacks and then double up either the lunch or the dinner to make an 800 calorie lunch or dinner. So just one of them. And for 1,800 calories per day, you can have the breakfast, the lunch, the dinner, the snack, so that's everything, and then just double up either the lunch or the dinner. So that just really depends on whether you prefer a bigger lunch or a bigger dinner, up to you. That is how easy it is to customize this meal plan. I really hope that helps, and I will see you in the next video.